Hey YouTube, it's ZZ Airsoft, and we're going to show you how to make an airsoft grenade launcher with uh, duct tape, toilet paper roll, uh, a small water bottle, a balloon, a razor, and scissors. So we're going to start off by uh, cutting the end off of the balloon. Okay. Once you're doing that, you don't need that. And then, you uh, take off the cap of your water bottle. And you don't really need this. You're actually going to want to take this off because this is going to hold all your BBs and you want to know how many uh, how many BBs you have in here. So put this, up, put this on here and just compare the size of it. And then cut a hole big enough for the... Uh, for the bottle to go into with your razor. If it's not big enough, you can always go back. It's always better to make it a little bit too small and have to go back to it than to make it way too big. Okay, now that you've done that, duct tape it in place, just to make sure it won't come off. Okay, now that you've done that, you uh, cut a uh, section off right here, you see this? This is where you um, load the BBs. So you have to be able to pour a bunch of BBs in there, and then when you turn it over, it loads it. Um, so then you put the uh, the end of the balloon, the the balloon on the end of your uh, on the end of your toilet paper roll, and duct tape it on this and that's basically it I'll show you a little bit let me get some BBs so basically what you do is uh, you put BBs in the little hole in your water bottle and to load it, you turn it over and let some of the BBs fall into the balloon and then you pull back and it shoots about uh, 200 FPS if you shoot about 30 BBs and you just turn it over again and shoot and you can probably fill about 500 BBs in this, maybe even more um, I put these on my PVC or stuff guns let me get those This is my AK-47, and uh, I put these on there, which is a really great add-on because they're not exactly that accurate, but uh, if you have about 30 BBs flying over the place, you can't really miss. So, uh, thanks for watching.